Fable 3, I think we do wonderful. And that is what happens when you press the pause button. Sam down here will now press the pause button. On Fable 1 and Fable 2 and a lot of games, normally you go to some horrible flat screen, nothing to do with the world, nothing to do with the drama. But here, you go into this place called the Sanctuary. This is part of their favorite world. This is where you're going to put your costumes on, where you're going to change your weapons, where you collect all your treasures. This place here has got these different rooms, a dressing room to dress in, um, an armory to collect your weapons, a treasury. And it is staffed by this guy. This is uh, someone called Jasper. He is your butler. I love the idea of having a butler. I want one in real life. If you're going to be king, you want a butler. If, and this butler is played by John Cleese, the father of Monty Python. We have got thousands of lines of dialogue by John Cleese. He is very funny. You will, will wet yourself laughing. Can I say that? Yes. Um, anyway, let's go and change our disguise now. And look at how the two horribleness has been replaced by a 3D sun. Interestingly, the gamers amongst you are already saying, I can hear you psychopathically saying, oh, that's a bit rubbish. It's going to be a lot slower doing all this stuff. We have tested this. It is faster in every sense to do everything. It's far, far more intuitive. So we've changed our clothes. We are looking at how you, well you use that blue button. If you're mashing it, if you're a casual gamer, it's going to start morphing in a certain sort of way. If you're a real true gamer, you're blocking, you're using flourishes, you're holding, you've got rhythm, it's going to morph in another way. There are literally thousands of these morphs. The center of this weapon, the blade of this weapon, the curvature of the weapon, the length of the weapon, the hilt of the sword, is all a reflection of what sort of gamer you are. What that means is, if you're a... I was going to say a good word there. If you're a really cool gamer, you're going to have a really cool sword. Not because you found it in some treasure chest, but because you earned it from the way you fought. Why not take that idea that your weapon is as unique as you are and make it, and you just go forward into the battle, and then make it in guns. Why can't guns be as unique as you are? Why can't we have them more? Why can't we have rifles, hammers, magic gauntlets, all of which will morph to reflect what sort of gamer you are. And then why can't we make it co-op that you can come into my world with your unique weapon as a hero and your dog and you can show off just how cool you are. I think that's pretty interesting. I think it's different and it's, it's, it's really unique. So if we, if we just go up to some combat now, this is the renegade camp, we've crept into it. Uh, now our disguise is holding out, but Sam's going to do some a uh, bit of a naughty thing and chop someone's head off. Not chop his head off. Um, he's going to go through the gates. And why don't we take someone out now? So let's have a look at that combat. The other thing that we have done, we've totally reworked our combat system. Blue button is swords. If, he, if Sam just matches the blue button now, he's going to do cool stuff. But if he gets the timing right, if he presses the button down, holds it down, strikes at the right moment, he'll unleash the flourish. As his weapon morphs, more of these flourishes are going to be unlocked. The weapon isn't only a visual thing, it's a gameplay thing. The cooler you are, the cooler your weapon becomes. If he, for example, is fighting with his sword and he flicks his finger to the yellow button, he can immediately fire his gun. That is going to affect the morph of the weapon and the morph of the gun. Now again, I think that is an interesting idea that these weapons are, are unique. So he's just died. This is what our death is like. That's all you get for death. The reason for that is, the reason our death is so quick is because the thing you lose when you die are things called followers. You need these followers to progress through the game. We also, the last thing which I'm not going to show but I'm going to very quickly talk about is this idea that if this is your fable. We have put all the gameplay features of 
fable into different chests. You choose which of these chests to unlock. You decide whether fable is going to be a combat game, or fable is going to be a simulation based game, or fable is going to be about buying and selling houses, or fable is going to be about drafting weapons, or fable is about getting married and having sex. You decide that by deciding which of these chests to open. So in summary, you know, Fable is a big, there are big changes afoot in Fable. It's an amazing story, a very unique story about becoming a king and then what happens afterwards. And it is got totally new combat, totally new interface. Those are just some of the features. I've got time to take one question. Anybody got a question for me? Anybody? I'm going to say no. There. There's a question, my saviour. Is the game going to be what? Oh, is it going to be a German translation? You mean? Yeah, the, the question was, is it going to be German translation? Absolutely, we're trying to find, we've got an amazing English cast, and we found a pretty cool German cast as well. You know, in the English version, we've got Simon Pegg, Stephen Fry, uh, John Cleese, uh, so Ben Kingsley, you know, it's a great cast, we're trying to find an equally great cast for Germany. That wasn't the question. Ah, on the visual side. Yeah, the question was, were we changing the content on the visual side? I don't think we are. I mean, Fable has never been a particularly, I don't think it's a particularly violent game, it's more fantasy violent, I don't think. You know, I, don't, I think it'd be wrong to cut it. It is a reflection, interestingly, about what sort of person you are. Because at the start of the game, when you attack things, you don't get any blood. But if you are a vicious, evil player, you get a lot more blood. So what I'm saying is, if you're evil, you'll see some, some gore. If you're not, it'll be a lovely, pleasant place. Uh, that's Fable. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching.